Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, I am the introverted reader. And uh, if you're noticing better camera quality, I certainly am. Um, I got a new phone yesterday because if you follow me on Twitter the last few days, you'll know that the other one just decided to give up the ghost. And so I just, in short, we have a new phone, ladies and gentlemen. So today's video is going to be a review on our March <laughs> book club pick of the month for the Introverted Reader Book Club. I am spitting everywhere. And that is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I'm gonna be reviewing and talking about this today. Now you're probably thinking, girl, we're only like a few days into March. I know, but like I read quick, okay? So we'll hydrate. Be sure you have some water or something with which to hydrate. And, uh, and uh, let's talk about this book okay i don't know what my hair is doing i'm still not used to having short hair but anyway <laughs> anyway so once upon a broken heart okay so this is following our girl evangeline and evangeline is really really going through it y'all because she was in love with this boy and she has found out that he is engaged to be married to someone else not just anybody else, but his, her stepsister, the drama. Um, so she goes to the church dedicated to the fate known as the Prince of Hearts. And she basically goes there and she basically like prays to this fate. And she's like, I need you to stop this wedding. I need like, I know that, my, that he like... This, this boy that's about to get married, he loves me. I know he does. And um, yeah, he's under a spell or he's cursed and I, I need your help, Prince of Hearts. And he appears before her and he's all like, yeah, I'll help you, but I will need three kisses in return. But see, the thing is, the Prince of Hearts kisses are deadly and she's like, but if I kiss you, I'll die. And he's like, no, not me. I will order you, I will order three kisses from you. You're not going to give them to me. You're going to give them to whoever I say you're going to give them to and I'll help you out. So she's really desperate and she says yes. Uh, oh, it all goes from there. It all goes from there, sis. And I will be honest with you. I did not know what to expect from this book. This came out in 2021 and it's been sitting on my shelf since then. Now, I have also read the Caraval trilogy by Stephanie Garber, which was probably wasn't that long ago, but in my mind, it feels like forever ago. I read all three books in that trilogy. I thought they were just okay. Didn't think there were anything to ring home about. I thought they were all right. And I was a little bit dubious about this because I was like, I just thought that the Caraval was okay. Like, is Stephanie Garber for me? But y'all... As soon as I started reading this, I could not stop. And I tabbed and annotated. Like, do you see all the yellow tabs in there? All of those were for moments where I thought my neck was going to break from the whiplash. Like, I was like, what? 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 Like, oh, I, I genuinely cannot describe to you how this book made me feel. Like, I was annotating. I was highlighting things. And like, especially towards the end, like there was a few things that I saw some that I did see coming, but at the same time, I didn't even care. I devoured this. I loved every single second of it. I was hooked. And like, if I had to put it down for any reason, like see on the days where I had to go to work, <laughs> like if I had to put it down and like get ready to go for work or like leave or whatever, I didn't want to. All I wanted to do was read this. It had me by the neck, as the children say. But unlike Jax, Jax is the Prince of Hearts. Oh, I loathe him with every fiber of my being, but at the same time, I absolutely love him. Like, it's a very complicated emotion. <laughs> like, he's just, he's awful. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, I love you. Like, mm. Like, an Evangeline, okay, our main character, Evangeline, she is definitely, um, like, listen, I'll be honest, she's a bit of an idiot. She can be a little bit of an idiot. And 
Does she make a lot of decisions throughout the way here where I was rolling my eyes to the heavens being like, you are so dumb. You are so stupid. But at the same time, like I just, I, I felt sorry for her. Like, obviously this is all um, inspired by like fairy tales and, you know, princes, princesses, deals, you know, magic comes with a price as Rumpelstiltskin would say. And just, it's like an episode of Once Upon a Time. Honestly, it literally is like an episode of Once Upon a Time. But that little bit, like, even though Once Upon a Time had moments where it got quite dark, this was like a dark and twist, a, mo a little bit more. Not a whole lot, because obviously it's still YA, but like a little bit more. Like, there's that little bit of darkness hanging around and everything. There are vampires in this. There are vampires in this. None of you thought to tell me. None of you thought to tell me, oh, here, there's vampires in this. Like, the nerve, the cheek and the acid of the gall and the gumption. Why did none of you tell me? And like, I got to that part where the vampires show up and I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> like the amount of times I was throwing my hands up in the air while reading this and just being like, what in the, what in the earth, wind and fire is going on? <laughs> I, 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 like, if you can't tell, I loved every single second of this. I just, I loved all the fairy tale aspects to it. Like Jack's always holding a poison apple in his hand. What is a fairy tale without a poison apple? I ask you. Like there, obviously what's there, there's a prince in this, Apollo. If you know, then you know. If you've read this, then you know. Apollo. What? I, like, yet again, another character that was a complete idiot. But at the same time, I felt so bad for him. <laughs> I felt so bad for the guy. Like, I just, like, this is definitely what fairy tales should be. Like, yes, there is the magic. Yes, there is the wonderment. But at the same time you know, there is that darkness, there is that this whole thing is gonna blow up in your face. And it's just, it was just so good. It was so addictive. Like, like I just said, I could not think of anything else but this book whilst I was reading it. And wow, it definitely lifted my spirits. And I had so much fun. I had so much fun. Do I have the sequel? Yes, it's over there on my bed. <laughs> I'm like 80 pages into it already. It's sitting over there, um, surrounded by my pans. And like, yes, and I'm annotating it as well. Like, I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. Starting off March with a bang, folks. Five stars. Five stars. I love this so much. If you've read this, let me know. Do, do you feel the same way I do? Because when I put this on the poll up on Twitter... Everybody was gagging. Everybody was like, oh my goodness, this is so good. So like, yous were right. Yous were absolutely right. I will never doubt you again. I will never doubt you again. Anyway, so yes, Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Five stars. Five stars. And I'm really hoping that the second one is just as good. And I think the third one comes out in September, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, feel free to leave the apple emoji in the comments. <laughs> And uh, let me know if you've read this, what you thought. And obviously no spoilers for like the second one because I've only just started it. So that's my review for this book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you're all having a good day. All of my socials, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok are linked down below as always. And if you are new, feel free to subscribe. I will be posting this on my TikTok as well. So if you're one of my TikTok followers, hello. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe. I really want to get to 300 subscribers. That would be amazing. So yeah, I'm going to go put my hairband back on and get to sitting back over there and read The Ballad of Never After. So I'll see you in my next video at the weekend. Bye!